Good evening. forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you for today.
today we're going over. This is it. Precisely. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Would you mind if I joined you for lunch? Thank you. Alright, let's head to the roof. It's starting to get rather cold, isn't it? Sorry to bring you here. This is something I oughtn't really bring up around other people. Senpai, are you still planning to continue on as the Phantom Thieves? Lately, I haven't been hearing any positive gossip about the Phantom Thieves. Despite how much people cheered on your cause, even though they knew nothing about you or your friends, all they do now is speak ill of the Phantom Thieves. I know it's not my place to say this, considering I turned down your offer to join and all. But this change in attitude is simply awful doing the exact same thing to you all that they did to me. Yet, you're still going to keep at it? Why, Senpai? Unfinished business. So... There's something left you have to do. Yeah. But don't worry about us. There isn't even a one in a million chance that my Phantom Thieves could ever lose. I see. Well, I won't stop you. However, could I ask a favor? Or rather, could you promise me something? Once things settle down, I'd like you to join me somewhere so we can go have some fun together.
Then it's a deal. I'm already beginning to look forward to it. So, please be careful out there. Oh, but I plan to keep my other promise I made with you about the physical training. Tomorrow. Is that too sudden? Maybe we should train the day after tomorrow, then? Uh, but that day's when... You need to eat, too. No one wins a fight on an empty stomach, you know. Hey!
later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maraki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, Today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I have come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies... In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> at any rate, many of you have come to see me during my time here. Some of you even refer to me as Doc now. But I must say, as I watched you all strive toward your dreams, I feel like I am the one who received an education here. I actually had a certain goal in mind when I was first assigned to this school. Of course, I have no intention of giving up. Still, I would be lying if I said I'm leaving here today with no regrets. Basically, what I want to say to you all is to learn from me and live your lives without regret. <sighs> Finally, I know this is rather cliche, but I wish you all the good luck and success in your futures.
<laughs> Boss said he reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? Huh? Everyone here is a witness. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Saison's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yup, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Okay. Anyway. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense! They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them! Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis... I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not! Yes. I, I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay.
all alone Come facing twilight alone We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us, so let's give it our all. Let's do it.